Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now one of the things I love to do after making a video is going down in the comment section and reading what you guys are saying. Basically getting a pulse on everything I just filmed, especially those dealership walks. Now one thing that is a common comment on this page nowadays is how expensive the Tundra has gotten. A lot of you are not happy with the pricing. And I'm not even talking markups. I'm talking MSRP. Since the new generation Tundra, the price certainly has gone up, but Toyota has also offered a lot more features on the Tundra. So with all of those comments, I figured I would go on to the big three websites and build a truck like we do with the Tundra and see what the price comes out to be. Just the other day, I did a short video where I went to the Dodge dealership and found a Ram Rebel, which is comparable to the TRD Pro, and the price tag was right there with the Rebel and the TRD Pro pretty much matching almost the same, with the difference being the TRD Pro actually gave you more for your money. So going onto these websites, building something very similar to an SR5 with the TRD off-road package, loaded up as much as I could. Here is the disclaimer. I did the best I could with building these trucks as close as possible to an SR5 TRD off-road. The big difference I did see here is the big three lets you build the truck option by option. Toyota is more about those packages to where you buy a package and you get a ton of stuff. The big three, it's all single stuff. So I did the very best I could. So bear with me, this is not an exact, this is just as close as humanly possible to where I could give you an idea of how all of the pricing is a little bit high. And I want you to go down in the comments below and let me know of these four trucks I'm about to show you, which gives you the biggest bang for your buck. So let's start with a simple one, the Toyota Tundra SR5 with the TRD off-road package. All right, so this is what we built with the Tundra SR5 TRD off-road package. Um, as you will see momentarily, I added pretty much everything you could add as far as options and features in an SR5. All of the trucks you will see are the big crew max style cabs with the five and a half foot bed. You will see the MSRP after my build is 58765, but that's not the number we're looking for. We're going to the number after destination charges, basically everything. Of course, it won't have your tax and all that stuff on there, but just overall, I want to include the destination charge because they are all different. But with this truck, uh, this is the TRD off-road package with all the options, like the premium package, soft tax, 14 inch screen, heated seats, all of that stuff there. Um, this is the shot of it. I actually just selected the Midnight Black Metallic. Anything it let me select. I didn't go crazy with doing the little single options like the 20 inch TRD wheels you could get from the Limited in 1794. This is just pretty much how the truck came. Tried to make it as easy as possible. The starting MSRP of this 49520. This has the regular iForce because it's SR5. 10 speed automatic transmission and all the trucks are 4x4. So after the packages, the packages is 9,245, advanced off-road technology package, premium audio package, PVM to BSM outer mirrors, TRD off-road premium package, heated leather steering wheel. This gives you a lot with that package. Uh, you also get the trailer brake control, trailer assist, 360 camera. It gives you a ton with the package. And that's the big difference is with some of these other brands, as you will see, you pretty much pick every little thing where Toyota just makes it uh, you know, a little bit easier with the packages. And that depends on how you like it. If you like to build your truck by every little item, you're gonna love that. If you want the convenience of packaging, Tundra may be the way to go. So the delivery processing and handling, $1,795. The total is $60,560 for the Tundra. All right, so that's kind of gonna be our base price here because that's what we're basing it all on, the Tundra. Now, I'm not including markups or anything like that on any of these trucks. All brands have some sort of markups on them, but it's different all over the country and there are a lot of MSRP dealers out there. So we're just looking at the pricing from the MSRP standpoint to kind of keep it as even keel as possible. And we move on to the 2023 F-150. This is the XLT with the FX4 package. Of course, it's four by four, uh, their Super Crew cab, five and a half foot bed. Now total with everything for this was 64,185. I'll show you the breakdown momentarily. It gives you a, a gigantic screen. It gives you leather seats. One thing I noticed when building this truck is that 
down in the XLT, you could still get a lot of options that for the Tundra you'd have to go up to limited for, like their premium sound system or a form of a moonroof or pano roof. You could do a lot of that stuff down in the Ford F-150 here when you go into the lower packaging. I did the best I could. I didn't add the pano roof. I didn't add the better sound system because you can't get that JBL or the pano in the, the Tundra, so I wanted to keep it as close as possible. Uh, but this has, you know, the center console, floor mounted shifter. This is pretty much everything you could have. This has the 27 EcoBoost engine. That's what I went with because the Tundra has the iForce engine at 3.5 V6 without the hybrid. I figured that would make the most sense with doing engine to engine, but I will tell you Ford has a lot more engine options than the Tundra. The Tundra just has two. Uh, Ford has upwards of five. So when you do go to Ford F-150, you will see a lot more things you could do with this truck. And this was one of those trucks where you could sit there and build away at it and add all these little options here and there. But this is what we came up with. This has that sport appearance package as well that I actually had to add because of the leather I was trying to get on the inside when doing this build. Every time I would click something, it would tell me to add a package here or there. But like I said, I did the best I could to keep it as close to the SR5 as possible. Base MSRP, 50,220. The options were 11,425. I didn't add any accessories on any of the trucks the best I could. Nothing extra. Destination charges, 1,895. Acquisition fee, 645. Total, 600, or excuse me, 64,185. And when you're seeing that monthly payment at the bottom that comes out on this, that's actually for a lease. So your monthly payment for a 60 month or 72 month would be a lot more, but just keep in mind that total 64,185 on the Ford F-150 XLT with the FX4 off-road package. Next up, we will do the Ram 1500. This is the big horn. Now, one thing about Ram versus all the other brands, when I say you can build these trucks, each individual item, I felt like the Ram was the one you could probably do the most with. This one has the 5.7 V8, uh, because that seems to be the premier engine, but also the engine that's available in everything. When I walk my local lots, there are other engine options, but like I said, I'm trying to keep it right down the middle. The price of this truck was 59,480. You will see how I built it momentarily. Uh, I did the best I could. The base price was 49,225. Additional options, 11,260. Destination charge, 1,995. Now, the difference is on the Ram website, they're giving you a little discount here. So you get $2,000 bonus cash and 2023 capital, or excuse me, Chrysler capital bonus cash, 1,000. So the estimated net selling price, 59,480. This is some of the things I put in it. 5.7 V8 Hemi right there. That's the e-torque engine, but you also have the option of the 3.6, uh, the V6 engine, or the 3.0 turbo. I went with the 8-speed automatic transmission because that is what it selected. And as we move on, I added, I had to add little things here and there just to get it close. I added the 33-gallon tank because that's what we would have in the SR5 Tundra. Um, and when you look at some of the packages, I put, I put the Bighorn Level B equipment, and as you could see, that gives you a lot of different items. You get that big screen that Ram offers. Uh, just a few things I'm gonna you know, look at along this list. I won't read the whole list. Uh, nine amplified speakers with subwoofer, automatic dimming exterior driving mirror, get fog lamps, exterior mirrors with heating element, just a lot of different things. The park sense front and rear park assist with stop, kind of like Toyota safety sense. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of options that come with that package. And that is why the package is $3,845. Remote start is in there. Uh, we got eight-way power driver seat, power adjustable pedals, just a good amount. You connect five navigation with 12-inch touchscreen display. So that is why the price went up quite a bit on this truck. If you don't want that, you could probably save a lot of money on the truck because there are a lot of other options there. I also added the off-road group package because we were doing off-road packaging. And that gives you uh, electronic locking rear axle, front extra heavy duty shock absorbers, front suspension skid plate, fuel tank skid plate, full size spare tire, 275, 65, 18 off-road tires, the off-road decal, raised ride height, rear extra heavy duty shock absorbers, select speed control, steering gear skid pad, excuse me, skid plate, tow hooks, transfer case, skid plate, $1,145 on that. I did the trailer tow group as well because that comes on the Tundra we are building as well, $1,245 there. 
So that is where we got with the Ram to make it just under $60,000. So that's probably the best price one so far. But you got to go to these websites and play around where how you want to build it. Some offer different gear ratios, a lot of different engine options, a lot of particular items here and there. And that's kind of the moral of the story is every other page gave me just lists and lists of things to add to this truck to make it exactly as I want it. So here's the Chevy we built, exterior and interior look there. You get their premier screen, their digital gauge cluster, uh, you get the leather. This is a nice looking upgraded Chevy interior. This is the 1500 LT four wheel drive. Uh, it came with a wheel and tire package when I went up into the off-road stuff as an add-on that automatically added it on. And I think the tires give it a great look if you're into the Chevy look. The net price of this, 61875 So the standard vehicle price was 537 Dark ash metallic is what they selected. Uh, we got the 20-inch painted aluminum wheels with machine face and grazing painted pockets for $1,100. Uh, the front bucket seats cost another $620. Packages, we got a few of them on this. Convenience package two, off-road suspension package, leather package, safety package. All the options it lists down, as you will see, there is many. 10-speed automatic transmission, 13.4 diagonal Chevy infotainment, three premium system with Google built in. And you can look down the list and just see all the options that started to come. Some say standard, some have uh, how much money it added. Some are included in a package and some are zero dollars added. But this truck started to add a lot of stuff once we started to select different things. And all of us know, we've all been to the build and price websites before where you start clicking on things and it says, oh, if you want that, you gotta add this. That happened a lot on the Chevy uh, page as you're seeing here. Most of this stuff came included in package. That's the main thing you will see. Wireless charging, zero dollars, that's cool. Uh, hitch guidance with hitch view. Just so much in the uh, you know, stuff that's added in, $0, 7,100 pound GVWR. We got the 3.23 rear axle ratio, external engine oil cooler, zero, USB ports, just so much, just so much. Pages and pages of stuff that were added. By the way, we use the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 engine. There are other engine options. I'm just trying to get it right down the middle as much as I can. So the destination freight charge was 1,895. Uh, the truck was 62625 but there's a customer cash deal going on right now that takes off 750 So the net price, 61875 Key attributes, one more time, 5.3 liter Ecotec V8, 10-speed automatic transmission, horsepower 355 at 5,600 RPMs, torque 383 at 4,100 RPMs. So there you go. There's the pricing. What do you think compared to the SR5 Tundra? Let's go over one more time what each truck does cost. So the 2023 Tundra SR5 TRD Off-Road, after everything, 60,560. The Ford F-150 XLT with the FX4 package, 64,185. The Ram 1500 Bighorn, 59,480. And last but not least, the Chevy Silverado LT, 61,875. What are you thinking? Where are you at? Which truck do you think gives you the biggest bang for your buck? And also, as I was saying when we were at the lot, whether it be the Toyota lot or any of these other brands, it's not just the Tundra that's expensive now. All trucks have gone up in price. There's all these insane features on the inside of these trucks. Uh, all this technology, it costs money. So it's not just Toyota. It's basically across the board. And even if you go down into the car sector, SUVs, vans, everything is up in price. If you go look at prices 10 years ago, it'll shock you. So I wanna hear what you guys think about this comparison. Uh, which direction would you go? And do you like, this is kind of the ultimate question I want to know from the Tundra enthusiasts and other people that may be watching it that like some of the big three. Do you like the idea that you can sit there and build your truck piece by piece? Or do you like packages like what's offered in the Tundra? Another big thing is with the big three, you could go sit down with a dealer, with a salesman and literally build your truck and have it shipped in. Tundra and Toyota, you can't do that. That's not really how it works. Toyota has to have an allocation coming in and it depends on what the allocation is and you kind of piecemeal little items here and there that you may want but they don't do customer ordering like some of these other big three brands do do you think toyota should incorporate that with the toyota tundra can't wait to hear what you guys have to say on this one one more time the disclaimer did the best i could to keep these trucks as close as i could to give you a very even keel comparison between them bear with me it's kind of hit or miss as far as how close these prices are but 
we got them in the same realm of each other, uh, basically trying to put in as much as I could. Uh, so that's my disclaimer of the day. Till next time, be well. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Tundra Dude 34, tundradude34 at gmail.com. Have a great day. Be safe.